Hey everybody, this is your boy, the host with the most, but humble, and I do mean humble, D Nostradamus, aka Derek, and of course, of course, what are we, what are we doing, what are we doing, this is Axe Wrestle Cram, if you're watching this today, you're watching tomorrow, you're watching it next week, I truly do thank you from the bottom of my heart to the depths. The depths of my loins, I truly do thank you. Without you guys, it truly wouldn't be me. I'm humbled eyes each and every single time I'm allowed to do this. Thank you so much for watching the show. Thank you so much for allowing your boy to doing the show. How about that? Uh, if you don't know anything about uh, Axe Wrestle Cram, I usually put out a feed around Sunday, around 10 o'clock-ish, uh, for you uh, awesome people to get your questions in. And on Saturday, this Saturday or next Saturday, we usually get those questions out. For uh, and and have fun. We have fun over here. That's what we do. We have fun. Uh, so um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You guys like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell as well. Don't forget we're on the road to three hundred. Still on the road to three hundred. Uh, once again, this is not a marathon. This is I mean not a sprint. This is a marathon. It is a marathon. How about that? Uh, so. Um, it is what it is. Uh, you know, uh, don't forget I'm on the TikToks, I'm on X, and I'm also on the Facebooks. Don't forget about that. I do have my own Facebook group club called Wrestle Cram Super Club. Wrestle Cram, Wrestle Cram Super Club. Uh, go <laughs> check me out over there as well. I am still a little under the weather, the whatnot. Uh, you may get a little coughing from time to time, so it is what it is. That's kind of how it works. Uh, but, um, uh, you know, uh, I, I don't feel bad. I just have a nasty cough and mucus, and we don't have to talk about it. We're not going to talk about that. So, uh, without further ado, without further ado, let's get into uh, the questions. The very first question is going to be from a Black Star Boy. How we doing, Black Star Boy? Uh, do you think they are booking Diana Perazzo uh, a little too fast? Is she really the one to take the title off of Tony Storm? Uh, the answer is yes and no. I think they are booking her. I do think they're booking her a little too fast, uh, only to bring her back into the mid card and probably the land of obscurity. Um, and uh, do I think that she is going to uh, beat Tony Storm? Absolutely not. I think that's going to be uh, probably uh, Mercedes Monet taking that title off of um, Tony Storm. Uh, probably she will be the one. To face uh, Tony Storm, uh, guess Revolution. I'm guessing the next pay per view is gonna be. So uh, during the Revolution uh, uh, pay per view, Tony Storm is gonna beat Deanna Perazzo, and of course we may finally get the premiere of Mercedes Monet uh, at the end of this match. Chances are that may happen, you guys. Uh, but yeah, uh, I I do think that they uh, AW uh, has a very bad. Um, they have a very bad rotation on uh, pushing people to the moon, and after pushing them to the moon, they just disappear. They go into the mid card, or, or even lower than that, which is Ring of Honor. So uh, it's just a bad situation, and I hate that they're going to do that to Deanna Perazzo, but that's what's going to happen. I mean, it is what it is. They've done it to so many people. Um, uh, what happened to Action Andre? Anybody? Anybody? Anybody with action on Dre. So anyway, it's going to happen. It is what it is. It just sucks. Uh, but uh, thank you so much for that question, Black Star Boy. The next question is going to be uh, from uh, Mr. Greenhead. How are we doing, Mr. Greenhead? Uh, we all know that Cody is gunning for Roman Reigns. Uh, but who do you think Bailey will choose? Uh, do you think Bailey will choose Rhea Ripley or Io Sky? Uh, well, uh, if you have not watched uh, uh, Friday Night SmackDown, I do apologize. Uh, uh, try, try to fast forward a little bit. But uh, she has uh, chosen EO Sky. I knew that was going to happen. I kind of knew that was going to happen regardless of the situation. The way the storyline was happening, uh, everybody kind of just side-eyeing uh, uh, Bailey for the longest. And EO Sky being the world champion and not being the leader of damage control. I mean, it doesn't make any sense to me. So, I mean, the Kabuki Warriors just won uh, the uh, tag titles uh, from uh, Chase and Carter. 
for Chance and Carter. So uh, we, we we will see. We will see what happens. Uh, I mean, the storyline is really great where they did jump uh, Bailey out of the group, but Bailey did have like this really nice steel bar attacking the Kabuki Warriors and her announcing that she is facing uh, EO Sky at uh, WrestleMania 40. This match, this storyline, the build is going to be so good that I may think that this match may be the main event of night one, the, or or maybe the main, the second main event of night two. That's how good this might happen, you guys. So let's see what happens, but I do think that this is going to be a really great uh, story, a build, and match. So. Uh, Fingers, fingers crossed, but we may see this, okay? But uh, thank you so much for that question. Great question. Um, the uh, next question, the next question is going to be uh, from a Handlebar Mustache. How are we doing, Handlebar Mustache? Um, do you think Triple H dropped the ball on his response on the Vince McMahon accusations? Um, I will say this, okay? Um, do I think it was... Uh, a good response. No, I don't think it was bad either. I think it was kind of a creamy middle uh, where, you know, uh, there's a lot of stuff that's going on. And I think he really couldn't say a lot due to the fact of, you know, th th this is TKO. This is not the WWE anymore. So uh, I guarantee lawyers are involved. And not only that, I mean, TKO is, is, is trying to clean, clean house all together. I mean, it is getting to a point where they are getting sick and tired of accus uh, allegations uh, and stuff that's going on. Uh, so I don't know if this is a situation that Triple H should be uh, uh, trying to dig deep into as of right as of right now. I think Shawn Michaels did a great job. I do think Cody Rose did a, a, a great job trying to be you know uh, uh, middle ground as well. Uh, but I mean, remember that that's his that's his father-in-law. I mean, uh, his wife is the daughter of of Vince McMahon. So I mean, it is what it is. There's a lot of stuff that's going on. So I I can't really uh, crap on him about that. Uh, and we then once again we may get a better uh, 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 response. But right now I think that was out of the park, out of the blue, and we, we will see. We will see. But uh, yeah, I do. But I do thank you for that question. I thank you for that question. Uh, handlebar mustache. The next question is going to be from Mr. Greenhead. Once again, how we doing, Mr. Greenhead? Uh, that uh, his question is: uh, Since Cody won the Rumble again, will he finally finish the story and beat Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40? Well, once again, if you have seen uh, Friday Night SmackDown, that is not going to happen. Um, unfortunately, 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 it looks like it may be, uh, The Rock versus, uh, 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 Roman Reigns, and no, his story will not be completed for probably a whole another year. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's a, it's a sucky situation. Uh, I do see Cody, uh, winning against Seth Rollins, uh, damage destroyed Seth freaking Rollins. Uh, so we will see that. We will see Cody be a world champion uh, this year, number one. We will see that happen. But uh, the, the point, the fact of the matter is him not getting that main event is just troubling to me. I think that's completely disrespectful, especially him winning the Royal Rumble. That doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, so uh, it is what it is. Uh, yes, the money is there with The Rock. Of course, we're going to get a huge viewer rate when it comes to The Rock versus Roman Reigns. Anything The Rock touches usually in the WWE turns to gold. So we will see this. That, that's one thing that anybody's gonna, uh, uh, nobody's going to debate about. But once again, you know, he did win the Rumble. And he had his choice. And his choice was, unfortunately, Seth freaking Rollins. A beat up, battered Seth freaking Rollins, matter of fact. Um, but, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I guarantee that match is going to be awesome. But this is Cody... This is Cody versus Seth four. <laughs> this is the fourth time they they face each other, and every single time Cody has beaten Seth freaking Rollins. So I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what more to say about this. It's like wow, that you know you 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 could have went for the tribal chief, but you didn't. So, uh, you know, I have so much to talk about with this situation, but it is what it is. 
Uh, thank you so much for that question, uh, Mr. Greenhead. Uh, the next question is going to be uh, from uh, Southern Bell. How you doing, Southern Bell? Uh, <clears throat> Serena Deves is back. Uh, did you see her first match at Collision uh, last Saturday? And what did you think? <clears throat> Uh, number one, I'm a huge fan of Serena Deeves. I think she is a great uh, 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 wrestler. I love her submission type of of, of type of, of wrestling style. Really fun, uh, creative type person. And also, she's really good on the mic. Um, I honestly thought that she was uh, released or I thought she probably retired or probably quit because we haven't seen Serena in a very long time. Uh, the last time I remember seeing Serena was when her and uh, Mercedes Martinez was going at it, and she had that match between, they finally had their match, and uh, Mercedes uh, Martinez won. So, I mean, we will see <clears throat> the results <clears throat> or the fruits of our labor with uh, Serena Deeves. Hopefully, we get a awesome uh, 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 um, trajectory with her. Can I say that? Trajectory? Um, you know, she's winning, and she finally gets a shot at a title, uh, and she wins the title. I mean, she's really good. She's really good. So let's see what happens with this situation. Uh, but, yeah, I did see the match. I thought it was really good. She's a heel. She does heel things. She destroyed the leg. I thought it was really good. So we'll see. I love her. I love the professor type of gimmick. I thought it, I thought it was really good. But I do thank you uh, for that question, uh, Southern Bell. Great question, great question. Uh, the uh, next question <clears throat> is going to be from uh, Larry Gear One. Uh, how we doing, Larry Gear One? The uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm a little sick. Uh, but anyway, um, what do you think about the Young Bucks gimmick, new gimmick uh, of them being more serious EVPs? I've already talked about this. Um, um, I've already talked about this on my. Uh, my gears, my, my gripe uh, uh, situation, and I, I just, it's it's annoying. I, I It's it's truly annoying. I'm not a fan of it. Um, I, I mean, I enjoy them being heels. They're better as, as to me as heels than they are faces, uh, but the I'm better than you, my crap doesn't stink, uh, surfers from uh, California, and I'm, I'm uh, EVP, so I can run the way I want to run, it's truly a waste of time, um, uh, uh, blah, it's just blah, you know, um, <laughs> I'm just being completely honest with you, um, if you want to know uh, specifics, uh, you can most definitely go to my, uh, WrestleCram Gripes, uh, video, where I kind of go into detail about it, but, you know, I just hope that it, this match between them Darby Allen and Sting is going to be a classic. Uh, it, it's they know how to put on good matches. It's just they do the exact same thing. So hopefully they they switch it up and we get a good match. How about that? Uh, but thank you so much for that question, Larry Q One. Uh, the next question is going to be from a Dragon Hunter XD. How are we doing, Dragon Hunter? Uh, do you think Lamar Jackson will go down as another Dan Marino? A player with a great player without a championship ring. Um, if you go down as a Dan Marino, I think that's a great thing because Dan Marino A is a Hall of Famer, B was a killer quarterback. So uh that would be a great thing or whatnot. But I will say this uh Lamar Jackson is still young. Lamar Jackson still has that defense over there. Uh I think Lamar Jackson has plenty of time to get as many Rings as possible. Right now, it just wasn't his time. Uh, Patrick Mahomes is just killing the game. He's just, he's just putting the AFC on lockdown uh, for the past goodness gracious five years or whatnot. So, um, I mean, he's just dominant. He's a dominant uh, uh, a football player right now. Uh, uh, I think Lamar Jackson will eventually get a ring. Uh, even though I am a Steeler fan uh, and he is a part of the AFC North. I truly think he is the best quarterback in the division. I mean, right under uh, Joe Burrow. So, I mean, uh, <clears throat> give him some time. <clears throat> My apologies. Give him some time. Give him a little bit of time. I truly think that um, he'll be all right. He'll be all right. Once again, he's still a very young man, and I think that he will uh, surpass 
um, getting getting over that hump of of, of competing in, in the postseason. Uh, <clears throat> it, it's really hard. I promise you. I think it's harder to play in the postseason because remember, you're playing in the postseason. You're playing a zero zero team. You, you so it is what it is. But uh, I love uh, Lamar. I think Lamar, uh, like I said, I think if he does not get a ring, he will probably still go into the Hall of Fame as a, a great, and hands down. It is what it is. But I do thank you for that question. Great question uh, from uh, Dragon Hunter. Uh, next question uh, is going to be uh, from Laurel. How are we doing, Laurel? Uh, now, since we've seen Jade Cargill in, the, in a WWE ring, what do you think? And what match will she be in at WrestleMania 40? Uh, man, she did a phenomenal job in the Rumble. Uh, great job with the Nia Jax, where she threw her like a rag dog, uh, showing the strength, showing the physique, showing everything that I knew that was going to happen. I'm a huge Jade Cargill fan. I keep telling people I go to the gym because of Jade Cargill. <laughs> I'm trying to look awesome because Jade Cargill is awesome. Uh, and uh, the way it's looking, we may get this match between her and Bianca Belair. Uh, they uh, looked each other down, up and down, uh, throughout the entire time they were both in the ring. Uh, I really, uh, truly think that this is going to be probably one of the greatest matches, uh, either if it's on night one or night two. So it is what it is, you guys. Uh, we will get a Jade Cargill versus uh, a Bianca Belair match, and this match is going to be my money. Okay, straight money. So get ready for that. I I, I just want to see what the build is going to be. But man, this is going to be a fun, fun, fun situation we have. Uh, but thank you so much uh, for uh, that question, Laurel. Uh, the next question is going to be uh, from Southern Bell. How we doing, Southern Bell? Uh, since Andrade has been doing great work on the tail end of AEW, should he start as a main eventer? Or work his way to the top. Um, I look. I will say this: Andrade El Idolo has been doing really, really great work. When he came back uh, after that injury and that suspension between him and Sammy Guevara, he has been doing great work. As a matter of fact, he was doing such great work. I think that that match between him and Buddy Matthews, uh, that uh, ladder match for the mass, was not only a great match. But it should have been a, uh, a, a potential match of the year candidate of 2023. That's how good Andrade is. He, he did phenomenal work at the tail end. Now, <clears throat> him coming into Monday Night Raw, that's going to be the sucky part because there's so many high-level profile people there. Now, will I, I will say this. Should he be on TV every single Monday? Yes, should he be winning every single Monday? Yes. Should he be talking every single Monday? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I As a matter of fact, I would love to see him in a match at WrestleMania 40. Yes, I said it, I said it. This is how good Andrade is. Uh, I hate that we did not get the situation we got that we were supposed to get in a W where I guarantee he would have been a great world champion. It's just that when he was there at the beginning, it was just a, 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 a it was a disaster. It was truly a disaster. And, you know, we already knew he was on the way out. We knew he was on the way out when Vince McMahon left uh, and when Triple H took over because we know that Andrade is a Triple H guy. We know this. So with him being in the Royal Rumble, doing a good job in the Royal Rumble, I can see him working his way to the top card. He was a phenomenal champion in NXT. So let's see what happens uh, in the WWE. If we can gradually get him to the point where he was in AEW at the tail end of his uh, uh, career over there. Thank you so much for that question. Great question. Great question. I might just tag that question. But great question uh, for uh, that. Uh, um, uh, that was, who was that? That was... Who was that? Was that Southern Bell? Was that Southern Bell? That was Southern Bell. Yes, that was Southern Bell. Thank you so much, Southern Bell. I'm going crazy. But anyway, uh, the next question is going to be from Laurel. Now we're doing Laurel. Uh, what do you think about Jordan Grace in the Royal Rumble and also the TNA collaboration with WWE, if it happens? Um, 
Jordan Grace did a great job, phenomenal job. I love that they had the storyline between her and Naomi uh, showing love, seeing them, because, of course, Jordan uh, did take that title off of uh, Naomi at uh, one of the pay-per-views uh, in TNA. So I thought it was pretty cool. I love it. I love that title. It's a beautiful title they have over there as well. Um, uh, I So there's word that Jordan wants to face Bianca Belair on a pay-per-view in TNA. Not even mad at that situation. I would love to see that situation come out. That would be so phenomenal. Uh, she goes over there, not crapping on TNA, just promoting WWE, and doing it as a face, not a heel. Doing it as a face or whatnot. And, of course, she would probably lose, but I still would like to see a great match on WWE, I mean, on the TNA side. Now, should we get a collaboration? Should we get, like, some type of forbidden door type of, 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 of situation? Yes. 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 I would love to see this. Anybody would love to see two awesome corporations uh, uh, go 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 at it with each other. I mean, it would be a great thing. It would be a forbidden door, just like with the uh, New Japan and the uh, uh, AEW type of thing. They're really, really good. Let's see this happen. Let's see how fun we can get this. The collaboration between the two. We get champion versus champion on each and every single match. And we get two uh, <clears throat> awesome people that don't have titles or whatnot go against one another. I think it will be a great situation, you guys. Uh, very fun. Very innovative. I would love it. Please let this happen. Even if it doesn't happen this year, let it happen or whatnot. But uh, thank you so much. For that question, L'Oreal, uh, the next question is going to be from a new person. How we doing, new person? That's going to be Pomegranate Juice uh, 96. How we doing, the Pomegranate Juice 96? Uh, do you think uh, when both uh, Buddy Matthews and Malachi Black contracts are up with AEW, they should go back to the WWE with a similar type of faction or group? Uh, <clears throat> she says, uh, House of Black. Yes. Yes, I would love that. Uh, of course, you know, you can't use the House of Black thing, but I would love to see uh, Buddy Matthews and Malachi Black go back as some type of dark, uh, uh, a sinister type of group. We thought that was going to be Judgment Day. Unfortunately, it's not. They're kind of more of like a biker gang type of group or type of faction. I would love to see a type of sinister group uh, come back, like the Dark Ministry or uh, the, uh, the Wyatt Family type of group. I would love to see this. Uh, we did kind of see this before uh, the WWE released Malachi Black. I mean, he was in. Uh, he was a big uh, part of the writing when he was doing this thing. Where he was sitting down and just telling these really creepy stories, which I thought was really, really good. It, it, it sucks that we don't get this. So, yes, 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 yes. Have this happen. <clears throat> I know they're on the way out. And I know that this will be a great uh, situation between uh, Buddy Matthews and Malachi Black uh, uh, joining forces, adding a, a third, adding a fourth, adding a fifth, uh, probably putting Selena Vega, his wife, in the group as well. I mean, it would be a, a, a really fun, innovative type of situation. So, yes, yes, please let that happen. Uh, thank you so much and welcome, uh, Pomegranate Juice 96. Uh, welcome to the family. Uh, our last, last, very last question is going to be <clears throat> from Handlebar Mustache. Uh, how are we doing, Handlebar Mustache? Uh, it looks like they are building a great show between Drew McIntyre and CM Punk. When when uh, Punk comes back, uh, when he comes back from his, of course, his surgery, um, how should this be set up? <clears throat> easy, easy. <clears throat> this is this is easy. Uh, when Drew takes the title off of uh, Cody Rhodes in a sinister, dark, nasty way, we know that he's going to be a transitional champion. I know this for a fact because what's going to happen is that after um, Drew wins that title, we're going to get the exact same the exact same thing that we got from. Uh, that we got from a uh, 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 Survivor Series. Everything is going to go crazy. The music, uh, the cult of personality song is going to come on. And we're going to get CM Punk 100% yet again. This is going to bring in a three uh, pay-per-view feud. Three 
a, a type of pay-per-view type feud, uh, leading to the very end where CM Punk does take that title off of Drew McIntyre. I do see that happening. Uh, but it has to be a title involved because uh, uh, CM Punk truly wants to take everything away from Drew McIntyre, just like Drew McIntyre took everything away from CM Punk. So it will be a very fun thing to see. Um, probably Survivor Series would be a great time to, 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 to do this. But yeah, can't wait. That would be a great uh, storyline. I cannot wait. Uh, the story is just there. It's there. It is gold. Can't wait. Uh, but that is the last one. Let's get into the questions that I put out uh, throughout the week or whatnot. Uh, the very first question was, what is the best match of the 2024 WWE Royal Rumble? And without a doubt, it was 79% uh, 70, of y'all said the Women's Royal Rumble, I most definitely agree, was the best match of the night. Uh, the next, uh, The very next question I put was uh, now since CM Punk can't face Seth freaking Rollins due to injury at WrestleMania 40, who should be the person that faces Seth Rollins at WrestleMania 40? And I had four people. Unfortunately, we already know who the person is going to be, which is uh, Cody. But I had uh, Sami Zayn, Gunther, uh, Drew McIntyre, and Jay Uso. And 40% uh, of you said uh, Gunther. It would have been a, a Gunther match. I thought that would have been very interesting as well. I would love, I would have loved to see that. Uh, but we'll, we will see about that. Okay. Uh, great. Great. I thought that was great, though. Very, very great. Uh, so, uh, after that, I had one more question. I did that late, uh, later in the afternoon. Uh, what happened? Uh, what do you think will happen to Vince McMahon uh, with these series of accusations? Uh, and 67% of you said charged and jail time. The way it's looking, the feds are closely uh, or, or like really getting close to some type of indictment so we will see what happens with this uh, I'm, I'm, i got my ear to the ground i am reading a lot of dirt sheets to see exactly what is going to happen but i guarantee i don't have to look that hard i guarantee that uh this is going to be like news 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 like on cnn type type of stuff but um yeah i do have another announcement that i'm going to do a standalone video for uh I may do it today. I may do it tomorrow. Uh, oh, I'm, I, I think I already have it out. I mean, I already have it recorded. I'm just trying to figure out where time I'm going to do it. But, <laughs> but, um, uh, don't forget that the WrestleCram gripe feed is out right now. So you can get your questions in right now. Enjoy. Have a great time or whatnot. Um, and what else? Uh, I'm on, I'm on the X. I'm on TikTok. I do have my own Facebook group club. Oh, which is Wrestle Cram Super Club, Wrestle Cram Super Club. Don't forget to go check me out over there. Go, don't judge them out of all three. How about that? All three of them. Go check me out. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell. Once again, we're still on the road to 300. Uh, and, you know, we're going to have a great time. We have a great time here. I think we do. Do we have a great time here? How about that? Do we have a great time? Uh, I love y'all so much. The best is truly yet to come. Until next time. Love, peace, and of course, of course, of course.